You're welcome to my YouTube channel, Victoria here of Booking Lips in Kampala, Uganda. And in this tutorial, like I promised in my previous tutorial, that I'm going to show you how to make a man's uh, pullover cardigan, a pullover sweater with a small turtle neck. Um, you can use the same tutorial to make a round neck. It's it's almost the same. So for those that have been requesting for a tutorial for a round neck. Um, before I make it, you can use a similar uh, version or similar way of doing it. So I'll start by pulling out 65 to 66 needles. Um, my tension, it is at my row counter is 0, 0, and my tension is at 5. So I'll cast on using the Arab method. Those who have been asking about how to cast on, it's like writing small letter E in calligraphy. So you can try it out on a paper. And then after, you can transfer it on the machine by using your thread to write the small letter E around the needles. I hope that is clear. Just keep on practicing. With time, you will understand how to do it. So cast on your needles for doing a one by one. Uh, tension I'm making the rib in tension 5 so I'll knit one row and then hang my comb just remove that row and then knit 15 rows Increase to tension 10, knit one row, take back to tension 5, and knit 15 rows. Remove your hanger and then join the hem by picking up stitches and feeding into those which are not those which are in the resting position if you don't have this tool and you have this one it's just a matter of picking one and feeding it one by one just like that I'm starting with the back. I'm going to be using this color maroon all through and then also work on the front part. The sleeves I'll be using a different color. So now I'll turn my row counter back to zero, zero, and I increase my tension to six. Then I'm going to knit straight up to 180. I've knitted straight up to 200 so at this point I'm going to be shaping the sleeve um, casting off eight needles this side two. Then it one row and cast off eight needles as well.
So now I'm going to knit um, up to 80. Then I shape the back of the neck and then knit straight up to 100. So taking back my row counter to 0, 0, 0. So go on ahead and knit up to 80 if it is in the similar measurements. Um, if it's not, knit until you have about 20 rows remaining for you to cast off. All right. Um, I've now reached row counter 80. So what you're going to do on your carriage is this button which has one and two. So you push all the holding position, you push it to number two which is the holding position and you pull out needles which are opposite the carriage right from center zero so that they do not knit as we are working so after doing that you will need one row see these ones are not working and these ones are working and then you cast off 20 needles all at once So one by one, you cast off all the 20 needles. Those are four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then I'll press this on the 21st needle. Then we push back these ones to the resting position. And make sure your thread is right above these other needles which are in holding position. So what you're going to do, you're going to, we are going to do reductions after four rows, after two rows up to the thirtieth needle. So we are going to need two rows, we reduce up to thirtieth needle, and then we shall also put back our needles which were removed when we were shaping the armhole, the eight, the eight needles. So meaning we are going to do this. Um, when we have six, uh, eight rows remaining, we shall keep on adding. Well, let, me, as I, let me show you how to do this. So I'll knit one, two, then I'll transfer to the next. One, two, transfer to the next. One, two, this. One, two, transfer. One, I transfer. Now I'm going to start pulling out, pull, pushing this to the front so that I have that increase. As I reduce here, I'm also increasing this side. As I reduce here, I'm increasing this side. I reduce here, I increase. I reduce here, I increase up to 100 rows, and then I cast off straight. So what I've done here, it's the same thing I'm going to do this side. So after casting off, shaping this side of the neck, 
you put back this to normal and now remember we started from row counter 080 zero, so I'll take it back so that I work up to 100 and then you push you pull out your thread and you um, I'd want to start from the other side so let me first, first this one then push into normal and then knit one row after you cast off the 20 stitches remember to push your uh, holding position from holding up back to normal so that you work on the other side of the sweater so here I'm going to also cast off 20 needles straight and I do the reduction after two rows Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20 then I'll rest this right here so I'm going to do my reductions after two rows one two and I transfer So now I'm going to start the increases here. One, two. So I've reached 100 then I'm going to cast off and after doing the back I'm going to be working on the front I'll start in the similar way pull out the same needles uh, shape off at two shape off the armhole at 200 and then knit up to 60 this time I'll be knitting up to 60 because the front neck is kind of deeper than the, the back of the neck so you will need straight after shaping off the I'm hold you need up to 60 then we shall work the other needles by reductions so go on ahead do that I'll meet you up when I'm shaping the neck the front neck of the, the part of the front part for the neck then from there we shall do the sleeves and join the sweater So um, I've knitted this whole part of the front and I've reached a point where I've, I also shaped off the what the armhole now I've knitted up to 70 where we are going to start shaping the neck area remember to push your holding to push your button to holding position and you pull out the needles which are opposite the carriage all of them to the uh, holding position you knit one row and then you cast off this time around we are casting off 25 um, sorry 20 stitches and then we shall 25 stitches and then we shall do the reductions after
So go on ahead and cast off 25 needles. Remember for the back we cast off 20. Now we are going to cast off 25. Just added on 25 needles. So cast off those and then we shall do the reductions with after knitting rows 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and I rest it in this one here. Push back to resting position, and then now we are going to start our reductions. Um, one. Actually, here we are going to do reductions up after four rows. So, three, three, four, we reduce. One, two, three, four, we reduce. One, two, three, four, we reduce. One, two, three, four, we reduce. I reduce. Then remember the increases are the edge. One, two, three, four. I reduce. One, two, three, four. I reduce. One, I reduce. One, Now at 100, I'm going to cast off. Two, three. So here you go on and cast off and then you work on the other side. And then we shall be working on the sleeves. And join the sweater. So I'll take back to 70, remove from holding position and knit one row. Then cast off 25 stitches.
I'm doing four here. After four rows, I transfer. After two rows, I, I pull back like it's an increase. Here it's a reduction, here it's an increase. I hope you get that. So after two rows, I increase, then count four rows and reduce here. So now that I've reached 100, I'm going to cast off. Now I have the front part of the sweater and the back part. So I will join them, work on the neck, and then join the sleeves. So right now we are going to see how we can make the sleeves um, for an adult. I know I've been telling you how to, but there is one I made for a school sweater. Now I'm going to show how you can make one for an adult. Um, okay, let's get into that. So now to start on the sleeve, I've already done one, one arm. So what you're going to do for the measurement, pulling out 35 to 36 needles, I make a rib of 15, 15 rows. I'll be doing increases of after six rows, I, I increase a needle up to row counter 60. When I reach row counter 60, I'll keep on doing increases, but after eight rows, and then I will knit up to 180 with the increases of eight. Then from 180, I'll do increases of 10 up to 240, and then cast off. Let me show you how I did this. So to begin with, you need to cast on 35, 36 needles, and make your rib. One by one,
tension 5 knit one row and I'll hang the comb pull back to die back to zero 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 and knit 15 rows I'll be using another color, this cinnamon, take my row counter back to zero, zero, and work in tension six. So I'm going to do increases of, uh, after six rows, I do increases. I'll start with this here. Now I've reached 60 rows, so after this I'm going to be doing increases of after 8 rows. So now I've reached 180, 
that is after doing increases of eight rows or an increase after eight rows so here i'm going to add on this design that i put here just a few stripes of maroon and the other color just changing after 10 10 rows so i'm going to put maroon need 10 rows i'll do the increase change the color and do 10 rows change the color 10 rows so um if you're using if you're doing a plain color all through you just have to do increases of 10 after 10 rows you do the increase here i'm doing this because it's the design that i'm putting in the sweater but if you're not putting in any design you can just do the increase after every 10 rows I'll do the increase but now i'm not using this color anymore I'm just going to do maroon and finish up so after doing my increase of the needles i'll need 10 rows i do the increase and go up to 240 So now I'm um, at 240, I'm going to cast off. If you remember the trick that I gave you that if you want to see whether the sleeve is going to, the round of the sleeve is going to be enough, you pick up one piece of the part of the sweater as you did, either the front or the back, and you measure right from point zero up to the edge. So you can see that this is fitting from here up to point zero. So meaning also the other half will fit when I, that, that is, this. if this is the front and the other one is the back, having the same measurements meaning they are going to fit when i put back onto the machine to join the sleeve so that is how you can keep on measuring to see whether the, the width for the sleeve is enough to cover the whole part of the sweater that is the front and the back by picking up one of the pieces and measuring with it on the work you've done on the machine so now i'm going to cast off and then we work on the neck and join the sweater now we are going to start working on the neck area so I'll join one part of the shoulder by putting back the part the work on the machine just one area of the shoulder and then you need one row and you cast off then you put back all the other parts of the neck after joining here then i'll put back this part of the neck and i'll work on it as i did with the poncho in my previous tutorial so that's what i'm going to basically do on this part
so I'll pick up stitches right from the center zero it's joining part and put back onto the machine so this is one part up to the end here which is about 70 at seventy. then this part as well it's the front is about 90 that's more than 90 it's 93 So you can use this same way to make a round neck sweater. Just for the round neck, you will need a few rows of about 20. And you cast off, that is 10, 10, and then you cast off. That is the neck band, there's a neck band of 10. 10, making a total of 20 and then you cast off so if you haven't subscribed go on ahead subscribe please like this video share it uh, hit the notification bell let me know what you think in the comment section below After this, I'll pull the needles back to zero, zero. And I'll need one row in tension, see? Then do the transfers. To make a one by one rib.
Now I'm working in tension 8 for the neck. I'm going to do 50, then 50, a total of 100. So this is 50, you can do 50, you can do 80, you can do 70, whichever way you want that the neck to be thick, so it depends on what you want. I've done to 60, then I'll continue up to 120.
now to join the sleeve on the sweater i've already done one part where you get one part of the sleeve and you join it from the shoulder area this is what i've done i've just put back on the machine the sleeve is here and then this is the other part of the sweater after that i knit one row and cast off knit i'm joining them um, tension five then cast off so after this whole part i'm going to join the whole sweater if you can see this so i'm going to go on ahead and do all this offline then i will show you when the sweater is done after when you finish joining you can go on and do the blind stitches on these sides of the sleeve then around down here where you join and then also on the neck and that sweater will be done all right let's meet when you're done with yours and when i'm done with mine this is how the sweater looks like.